Hello everybody, we're going to talk about high-tech industries. The aim of this lesson is to know the meaning of the terms high-tech industry and footloose industry. So, let's start. What do you notice about all these factories? What do they have in common? That's right, you can see many machines and not a lot of workers. These are all high-tech industries. High-technology industries have been developed within the last 25 years. These industries use the most advanced technology to make their products. And many times they have processing techniques that involve microelectronics. In the United States, for example, high-tech industries employed nearly 17 million workers in 2014. That's around 12% of the total employment. That's quite a lot. High-tech industries can be divided into two. Sunrise industries, these are businesses which are new and growing fast, such as social media in 2011, Alternative energy in 2003, the petrochemical industry, which is a type of industry that works in plastics, and space transport and tourism. These are all industries, businesses which are relatively new and they are growing very, very quickly. Another type of high tech industry are IT industries. These include computers, telecommunications, and microelectronics. Examples of these include cloud services and storage, telecommunications and internet, online shopping and e-commerce, artificial intelligence, microelectronics, and even video games and online gaming. What do we know about high-tech industries? We know that high-tech industries usually employ less employees. They have many machines to do their jobs. So obviously, the employees need to be very highly skilled. They need to be inventive and intelligent as well. I'm sure you've all seen a questionnaire like this one online. You might have heard of SurveyMonkey. SurveyMonkey is an online survey service. Every single day, around 3 million people complete a survey on SurveyMonkey. This is used all over the world by companies or people doing research. As a high-tech industry, SurveyMonkey has realized the importance of curiosity. These are some of the words that employees of SurveyMonkey use to describe their job. You can see that many of them show that the employees must be highly skilled, innovative, challenging, engaging, simulating, and creative. This high-tech industry has realized the importance of curiosity. And to continue moving forward its company, it emphasizes a lot on curiosity, the power of the curious, and curiosity at work. This company, SurveyMonkey, was said to be one of the best places to work in 2019. Another fact about high-tech industries is that they are usually found in open areas where the researchers and operators find attractive. Have you ever heard of Blizzard Entertainment? This high-tech industry is best known for its amazing games like World of Warcraft, Hearthstone and Diablo. Overwatch as well. Blizzard Entertainment develops and publishes entertainment software. Let's have a look at the headquarters of Blizzard Entertainment. The headquarters of Blizzard are found in Irvine, California. At this location, there's a very good climate, there are scenic mountains, a lot of entertainment, museums and culture. There's also good education, good housing, and beautiful coastal views. 
these all encourage the employees of Blizzard to continue working in this area. So high tech industries need a few highly skilled employees. They also need an attractive area. What they don't need is to be next to raw materials. It is important that high tech industries are next to transport, but they don't really need to be next to the raw materials because they can import them from anywhere. Let's look at another high tech industry. Airbus. Airbus is a commercial aircraft manufacturer. It also builds aircraft for space and defense, as well as helicopters. Airbus is by far the largest aeronautics and space company in Europe, and it's a worldwide leader. Let's look at how they make one of their planes, the A320. The back part of the A320 is made in Hamburg. The front of the plane is made in France. Wings are made in the UK. When all these different parts are ready, they are sent to Toulouse in France, where all the parts are joined up, tested and eventually sold. It takes around 8 months for an A320 to be completed. If you look at this diagram, you can see all the different parts of this plane. You can see that some parts are coming from France, Germany, the UK and Spain. But eventually, they're all collected into one area and they are put together. This is a perfect example of a footloose industry. Airbus, the company that makes these planes, doesn't need to be next to the raw materials because it can import them with planes, ships and even trains. A footloose industry is one where the location doesn't depend on the raw materials, just like Airbus. Final check. Choose the right word in the sentences below. Pause the video and allow yourself two minutes to work them out. When you're done, press play and check your answers. High-tech industries are located in the open areas, where the researchers and operators find attractive. High-tech industries, they have a few employees who are highly skilled. But loose industries are not tied to raw materials, they have a free choice of location. Okay, remember, geography is everywhere.